Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out the Olaplex number no. 3 hair perfector mask for the first time ever. Recently I've been seeing so many people talking about Olaplex again and I know it's been popular for a really long time now. Um, people have been ranting and raving about it for years and years but recently I feel like a lot of people are like trying it out again and talking about it again. A lot of the girls that I'm friends with on Instagram and like the long hair community have recently been trying it out. Uh, Isabella DeMarco here on YouTube did a video trying it out as well and I've actually had this little like sample size bottle sitting in my collection for a few months and for some reason I've been like hesitant to try it. I don't know why. A lot of you guys, especially on Instagram, have been asking me my opinions on Olaplex, what I think of it, if it's worth it. Um, and I've never tried it, so I thought it would be fun to try it for the first time on camera and like bring you guys through the process with me. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll have that link down below as well. And let's just get into the video. So my hair is really voluminous and like kind of frizzy today. I did sleep with my hair in a messy bun last night which is not something I would recommend but I do it every now and then. So I guess first we should get into like what is Olaplex and what is the point of Olaplex, what does it do? So all the information I'm getting is directly from their website so I'll have it linked down below so you guys can go ahead and read it for yourselves. Um, I also encourage you to do research on your own like from other blogs, other um, experiences from other people as well. I really wanted to film this video unbiased so I didn't watch a lot of YouTube videos about it and the only experiences I'm aware of are the ones of my friends who have told me that they enjoyed it so I'm going into this just based on like what I can find on their website. So essentially what Olaplex does is rebuild the broken bonds in your hair that lead to damage. So essentially damage from like heat styling, chemical processing, environmental damage, mechanical damage, all of those things. So I know this is really popular for people who get their hair bleached or chemically treated um, and that's why I kind of never gravitated towards it because I thought it was only for like severe damage or for preventing damage when bleaching but according to their website it's actually also targeted towards people like me who don't do any of that but do experience mechanical damage so from like brushing sleeping with your hair open or in a messy bun like I did last night so obviously I'm not a chemist or anything like that so I'm just getting my information from their website but basically Olaplex works to repair the disulfide bonds that are broken in the hair so there are two things that can happen when the disulfide bond breaks in your hair the first thing that can happen is that the single sulfur hydrogen molecule can pair with a single oxygen molecule and when this happens that means there's no damage to the hair so then the second thing that can happen is that the single sulfur hydrogen molecule can pair up with three oxygen molecules and then this then creates what is known as a sulfate group. This new sulfate group is known as cystic acid and the cystic acid actually starts to eat the protein out of your hair which obviously will result in breakage and split ends and the damage that you can actually see. The way that Olaplex works is that the Olaplex will bond with the single sulfur hydrogen molecule faster than the three um, oxygen molecules will so it kind of prevents the damage and it can help to repair the bonds and reduce the look of damage. So again all of this information is on their website. I got it directly from their FAQ page so I will have it linked down below you guys can read about it for yourselves but that basically is how the Olaplex works it's also silicone free sulfate free cruelty free vegan nut free paraben free and formaldehyde and aldehyde free so it's us to apply this onto damp towel dried hair and only use once a week but if you have severely damaged hair then it's okay to use it two to three times a week and it also says to leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes but you can leave it longer if you want so I'm probably gonna leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes so I'll show you guys what my hair looks like right now like I mentioned earlier I did sleep with it in a messy bun so it's a lot um, like fluffier and more voluminous than normal but you can see it's looking pretty dull today. So I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair and I will be back to apply the Olaplex for you guys. All right, so I am back with my towel dried damp hair. In the shower, I washed my hair using this balancing shampoo from The Hair Routine. I absolutely love this shampoo. It just makes my hair feel so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Olaplex focusing from like right here to the length and ends of my hair. You can totally apply it on your scalp if you want. On the bottle it says to start at your roots. Um, but when I apply masks to my roots, my hair gets greasy really quickly and I also don't have like much breakage or damage up there at all so I don't really think it's necessary. I'd rather just focus it on my ends.
Alright, so I've applied it starting from about here down and I have just a little bit left, like maybe enough for one more use. I might actually just use it on my boyfriend and see how he likes it because our hair types are very different. He has more curly hair, so I'd be interested to see how it works on him. But this also smells really good. I don't know what I thought it was going to smell like. To be honest, I didn't think it was going to smell like anything. And then I will be back to check in with you guys and update you once my hair is completely dry so I can show you the results and kind of let you guys know what I think. So after the 20 minutes was up, I just got back in the shower and rinsed out the Olaplex and then I followed with the balancing conditioner from the hair routine. So these are the results on my hair. I'm actually so happy with how my hair feels. It's like really easy to run my fingers through my hair. It feels incredibly soft. It doesn't feel weighed down in any way at all. Um, and I'm honestly really impressed with it. I don't know why I was like so nervous to try this treatment out, but I'm really happy with how my hair feels. Now in terms of whether or not I think it's worth the purchase, I really think it depends on like your own preferences honestly um, and what you're willing to spend money on in terms of hair care. Personally, this isn't something that I'm going to be running out to buy just because I do have so many other masks in my collection and while none of them are specifically for rebonding, um, I also don't really have super damaged hair or anything. I don't feel like a rebonding treatment is like extremely necessary in my routine. And also when thinking about price, I'm pretty sure that the full size of this hair perfecter is around 3.3 ounces and I think it costs $38 Canadian like at the Sephora where I'm from and just to put it into perspective like one of my other favorite repair masks is by Briogeo and it's their Don't Despair repair mask and I'm pretty sure it's around 8 ounces and costs about $46 Canadian so it's like not even a whole $10 price difference but I feel like the size difference is kind of significant like the Don't Despair repair mask lasts me a really long time and I'm not sure how much like that smaller bottle of Olaplex would last me. Obviously, again, it depends on how frequently you're using it and like how much hair you have. However, I do think that if you are someone who uses heat on their hair frequently or even just occasionally, if you chemically process or color your hair in any way, I think that this would be worth it to have in your collection just to help to repair damage and prevent loss of length to split ends and breakage. But I definitely don't think this is something that like you have to have in your collection in order to have long hair or healthy hair. Overall, I'm really happy with how my hair feels. I wish I tried this sooner honestly because I'm really happy with it my hair feels really good and again this is only my first use so I think I need to try it a few more times before I can fully decide like how I feel about it but if you guys have tried Olaplex in the past let me know in the comments what you think about it if you think it's worth it and if it's something that you would repurchase Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video and on this little Olaplex journey of mine. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next and I will see you in the next video. Bye!